Hi folks, and welcome back to another episode of Mackenzie 4. I am back and I just want to say thank you very much for watching and roll intro. <laughs> Hi folks, um, welcome back and I'm just going to crack into the, this um, short one. Uh, I want to talk about inspiration. Where you draw inspiration from. Um, now for me, growing up as a kid, um, I was always drawn to like Hollywood and the magazines, seeing all these famous actors and actresses and all these beautiful shots and stuff and that's what drew me into photography was how to create all these amazing shots and how the lighting was just so different from the real world and um, the fantasy of it all um, where everything looked perfect and I liked that and I was drawn to it and with that um, I've also been drawn to many famous photographers coffee table book which I have a stack of them here I've also got a bookshelf full of them plus um, poetry books, other art books, um, drawing, graphic design, all that sort of stuff um, but I draw inspiration from a lot of these books. Uh, one of my favourites, actually, at the moment is Vincent Peters' personal work. Now, I bought this the day it came out because I had The Light Between Us before it, which is his celebrity portraits. But these ones are just, obviously, all his personal work that he's decided to put in this book. And I'm just trying to figure out which ones I can show you. I mean, there's pictures of celebrities in there as well but they're more sort of his personal personal work and there is a lot of images in there that I can't show you because of um, YouTube's uh, what do you call it guidelines or something about New Day anyway, I don't want to get demonetized even though I'm not making any money but um, I don't want to get the video taken down so yeah that's one of my favourite books I also got some new books by Andy Gotts for Christmas which I can't wait to have a proper look at um, and Peter Lindbergh and there's so many like Martin Schuller, um, David Bailey, Duffy, guys from the 60s as well. Um, I love all their styles and the way they work. Um, trying to figure out how they've lit it and um, whether it's been photoshopped or not. I love studying the image and just picking it apart and figuring it all out. Um, and that's one of the places that I draw inspiration from. Um, Another place is friends. Speaking with friends, bouncing ideas off each other. Um, and with that, I found inspiration for a new project. Obviously with things happening, thing, other things have been put on the back burner. So my Selkie's book that I've been wanting to do for the past four years, that's on the back burner because I don't think that's ever going to be finished, to be honest, with uh, my time scale. So what I'm focused on now is I've started the project. Um, I don't know what it's going to be called yet, but I'm going to make a coffee table book, just like one of these ones, but of the people that are in my life. So the people that are, are surround me, um, I'm going to do a portrait of each of them. And I just want to be able for to have something tactile for them to have when I'm gone um, so they have that they have that something to pick up and remember me by and they can look at it and remember that day where I took the portrait and remember how I, I broached it to them whether I, I caught them out on the day or I gave them time to prepare or the way I made them do a, a silly little dance in front of the camera um, but yeah that's that's where my inspiration has drawn me at the moment. So that is my new project. I want to hear what your new projects are for the part of this new year. Um, you should have one. Everyone should in the new year. Or you're still f trying to finish off the old ones. I'm giving myself a timeline of a year and a half to do this project. Um, the other half of the year, I'll be looking at possibly getting publishers and printers and all that involved and in seeing what can come of it. But anyway, yeah, let me know down in the comments what your inspiration for this new year is. 
or is there a new skill you want to learn or a new technique um, or something that you just want to focus on just for yourself photography wise but yeah start a conversation in the comments I'll more than happily join in um, my channel is still very small so I'll only get like maybe one or two comments and I will get back to you might not be on time but I'll get back to you so yeah um, before I go I'm just going to say that if you're looking for something nice to wear that um, supports someone if you go to my website www.mckenziephoto.com and on that website you'll find the shop and if you go into the shop there is an array of amazing items in there now from the shop you can order hats t-shirts even face masks that say fuck cancer on them now they are a nice thing to wear one you get to swear in public who is going to deny you saying fuck cancer hmm Think about it. If anyone says that you shouldn't be wearing that, they say that you're supporting cancer. That makes you a nasty person. So you get to swear in public with it. If that's too much for you, there is censored versions. But yeah, if you go on there and you buy it, it helps support me and my family. I'd really appreciate it. There's also limited edition prints in there. And because I'm such a nice guy, I'm going to give you a 10% discount code. It's Mackenzie Photo 10. That's Mackenzie Photo dash 10. It's not going to be in the description. It's only for the people that watch the video. But anyway, I'm going to go now. I'm just going to say thank you very much for watching. Please take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.